Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to our YouTube channel Smartphone and Classes. Today once again I am Vidya Sagar is standing before you uh, before class 10 to explain chemistry uh, with all of you. So please like the channel, share and subscribe it. In this section of modern periodic table I am going to explain its law and uh, the descriptions of groups and period. So please concentrate the video and try to understand all these things what you have explained by me one by one carefully so that you can get more and more benefit from it. Now let us start the discussions. Let us hear modern periodic table. After a great uh, vital uh, activities, uh, uh, one decision came in figure in 1913 by Mosley. He explained the fundamental uh, properties of the elements depends upon valence cells. So the modern periodic tables uh, is based on the uh, configurations of valence cells. By keeping this in mind, he explained that uh, the number of protons or number of electrons present in the neutral atoms of the elements is the physical and uh, chemical properties of the elements. So you can remember and it makes a law as uh, that is called as law of modern periodic tables which states that the physical of uh, physical and sorry the physical and chemical properties chemical chemical properties properties of the elements are periodic functions of their atomic number but Mendeleev's uh, were uh, stated that the physical and chemical properties of elements are the periodic functions of their atomic masses but mostly explained uh, it is not the uh, fundamental properties of uh, periodic functions of uh, their atomic masses but the periodic functions of atomic number. On this basis, it means, it is explained that the number of electrons and the number of protons present in the neutral atoms of the elements is the responsible for the periodic functions. Elements of same family recur at regular interval of 2, 8, 8, 18, 18 and 32. After uh, again in first period, after two elements, the same property is repeated. In second period, after eight elements, same property is repeated. And in third period, is also after eight elements. In fourth period, after eighteen elements, the same property is repeated. In fifth period. After 18 elements, the same property is repeated and in 6th period, after 32 elements, the same property is repeated. These types of statements are revealed by Mosley. So, this becomes the most confident law to arrange the elements according to modern periodic tables. So you have to remember these things, what is the statement of modern periodic table and try to remember. Uh, look at uh, one question was uh, sacred during uh, Mendeleev's periodic classifications that why does repetition takes place? It was not explained by the Mendeleev. It was a great defects and the drawbacks of Mendeleev's uh, periodic table due to which the, uh, his periodic table was not accepted that was re re rejected. Their explanation is given here as uh, the electronic configuration of the elements and the valence cell. The main things is valence cell due to which the properties recur in the uh, periods. As you can see the 
electronic configurations of uh, lithium of uh, here having three electrons its atomic number is uh, three uh, is one s two two s two in the outermost uh, orbit there is one electron here and the electronic configuration of sodium is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1, 2s1 and the electronic configuration of potassium is 19, its atomic number 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1, 2881 arrangement of electrons in an orbit is like that so a recurring takes place due to the number of electrons in the valence or outermost cell. Valence cell is also called as outermost cell. And uh, you know the group first element is called as alkali metals and alkali metals lose electrons to become cations, to form cations and form monovalent compounds um, monovalent cations and for monovalent cation and thus is in the same way group 7 electrons that is called as halogens and it gain electrons and forms monovalent anions as for example sodium lose one electron and forms sodium ion and potassium lose one electron and forms potassium ion in the same way chlorines belongs to halogens gain one electron to form anion and chlorine gain one electron to form anion these are the things due to which the properties reoccur at the regular intervals in modern periodic tables. So we can say that the modern periodic table is based on the uh, properties of atomic numbers and uh, it is a goodness of modern periodic tables. And uh, you have to know the group 18 electron is called as uh, inert gas because it has no tendency to lose or gain electrons. I have written here group 18 elements have no tendency to lose or gain any electrons. So they are called a stable elements. Okay, as for example helium, argon, uh, helium, neon, argon, krypton, gadon and xenon. Uh, there are six elements that are called as noble gases. Okay, so these are the things. Thus, we can say that, uh, and uh, I hope you have understood why replication takes place and uh, why uh, the periodic functions is based upon the atomic number. Thus, repetition takes place due to valence cell configuration after certain regular interval okay and it uh, it is repeated after 2 8 8 18 18 32 as you can remember this as between sodium and lithium from 11 to 3 the atomic number of uh, sodium is 11 and the atomic number of lithium is 3 and when we subtract it there are 8 electrons comes in figure 8 elements comes in figure and when between potassium and sodium 19 and 11 the atomic number of potassium is 19 and that of sodium is 11 and its difference becomes 8. So there are 8 elements in this period. Okay. You can locate the periodic tables in the third period elements 
you can look uh, between um, sodium and uh, argon there are eight elements and in the same way between rubidium and potassium atomic number of rubidium is 37 and uh, potassium is 19 when we subtract then we get 18 electrons in this period and in the fifth period between cesium and rubidium the atomic number of cesium is 55 and that of rubidium is 37 and there are 18 number of electrons and between francium and cesium the atomic number of francium is 87 and that of cesium is 55 and there are total 32 elements are there in this period so you have understands why the repetition takes place and how it takes place and how many numbers occurs between the repetitions in the periods you have remembered all these things and get more and more benefit if there are any questions arise from these sections understood now let us move towards the descriptions of groups and periods in the modern periodic table same as Mendeleev's uh, there are uh, rows uh, and there are columns uh, each uh, vertical rows uh, vertical columns are called groups and each rows are called as periods so we are going to describe the rows and periods in modern periodic tables what is the differences and uh, what are the some things explained here total number of groups in modern periodic tables are 18 total number of groups in modern periodic tables are 18 and the vertical columns what is group the vertical columns of periodic table are called group the vertical columns uh, is called groups and group 18 electron group 18 is also called as zero group because because it has no tendency to lose or gain electrons the elements belongs to these groups are stable in nature and the elements of this group is are called as novel gases understood and the group 1, 2, 3, 13, 14, 1, 2, 13, 14, 15, 16 and 17 are called as representative group or normal group and the elements belongs to this group that is elements of group 1, 2, 13, 14, 15, 16 and 17 are called as representative elements and or normal elements elements of group 2 are called as alkaline earth metals and elements of group first is called as alkali metals understood you have to remember these things about groups in the modern periodic tables group are discussed in this way okay please remember these things this is very, very important for examination points of view now one things you have to remember group 17 elements are called as halogens and group 3 to 12 there are 10 groups uh, from first after group 1 and 2 look at the periodic table and um, on the right side there are uh, before 6 group of periodic table before 6 groups from right sides and um, after 2 groups from left sides of the periodic table there are 10 groups from 3 to 12 are called as transition groups and the elements of these groups called as transition elements because 
its varying properties because the properties belongs uh, the property of the elements belongs to this groups uh, not constants it shows the different properties sometimes it belongs uh, to d subsets elements and uh, sometimes it belongs to the piece as uh, shows the properties of the elements such as p subsets so it is called as these uh, these elements are called as um, transition elements and the elements of lanthanides and actinides look at the periodic table at the bottom of the periodic table there are two rows first row and second row first row started from lanthanides from uh, after lanthanides uh, from 58 to 71 and the second row started from 90 after actinides after 89 and 90 to 103 there are two rows these are called as inner transition elements okay so i have written here the elements of lanthanides and actinides are called as inner transition elements there are two rows at the bottom of the periodic table respectively first row and second row first rows are called as actinide uh, sorry lanthanides because it uh, begins after lanthanum and second rows are called as actinides elements because it uh, begins after actinia actinum actinum and one things you have to note uh, the group first and second elements called as um, group first a and second a elements groups are divided into two sub groups a and b so you have to remember group first a and second b are from alkali metals and alkaline earth metals so 1a and 1b belongs to group 1 and 2 and group 13 14 15 16 17 and 18s belongs to element of the elements belongs to this groups are called as elements belongs to 3a 4a 5a 6a 7a and 8a respectively it means the elements of group 13 is called as elements of group 3a and 14 is called as 4a 15 is called as 5a 16 is called as 6a 17 is called as 7a and 18 is called as 8a anybody can ask me to you that noble gases belongs to which groups in the periodic table your answer should be 8a right and in the same way the groups vary from 3 to 12 transition groups the end the elements belongs to this groups are included as of group 3b 4b and 1b 2b and so on so these are the things describes uh, for groups in the next video i will come again with a dis discussions and the descriptions of period and the features of modern periodic table please try to remember all these things what you have described by us and you have to remember once again i want to repeat and try to understand you <coughs> please concentrate on the video in this video i have explained nothing but the laws of modern periodic table and the description descriptions of periods and uh, some uh, terms 
related to x x here i have told you the modern periodic table was explained in 1913 mosley was a great scientist to explain it and this law states that the law of modern periodic table states that <coughs> the physical and chemical properties of the elements are periodic functions of their atomic number earlier mostly uh, mendeleev's uh, arranged the elements by stating that the laws of modern periodic tables he stated as the uh, physical and chemical properties of elements is the periodic functions of atomic masses but it becomes wrong due to some drawbacks but mosley explained that things and little bit changes with the little bit changes he stated that the physical and chemical properties of the elements are the periodic functions of not uh, atomic masses but atomic number okay and that is the num and what is atomic number atomic number is the number of protons present in the nucleus of the atoms protons exist in the nucleus of an atoms and electrons exist in the orbit but the number of proton is equal to the number of electron in an in a neutral atoms so i have written that is the number of proton or the number of electron present in the neutral atoms of elements understood clear it is the periodic functions of atomic number or number of protons or number of electrons the if the number of protons or number of electrons changes in an atoms their properties will change understood now elements of same family recur at regular interval of 2 8 8 18 18 and 32 in the periods in the first period the properties recur after two elements in the second period the properties will recur after eight electrons and also in the third period but in the fourth period the properties of elements reoccur after 18 elements and also in the fifth period and in the sixth seventh sixth period the properties of elements reoccur after 32 elements these are the things written here understood concentrate on the video and try to understand all the things explained by me now reoccurring takes place due to the number of electrons in the valence cell and why reoccurring uh, recurring takes place why the properties repeated recurring means repetition of properties of the elements it is due to the valence cell valence cell is responsible to repeat the properties of the elements in the given periods okay it is described to when the evolution of electronic configuration takes place electronic configuration of an element is arranged by hom it is called as ofbau it is based on ofbau principles here look at uh, i want to explain by writing the electronic configurations of the elements as here i am taking the elements belongs to two groups first 1a and second 7a first a elements is called as alkali metals it is a started from lithium and uh, ends at uh, francium look at here in the outermost cell of lithium 
sodium and potassium there are only one there is only one electrons that's why the properties of all these elements are same because it is the its pro physical properties and chemical properties depends upon the number of electrons present in the outermost cells as it was stated by mosley so the periodic functions of elements is depends on the number of protons and number of electrons understood and try to remember the electronic configurations some students who don't know how to write electronic configurations please try to remember these electronic configurations and i will discuss about it in the next video so and one thing you have to remember when alkali metals lose one electrons it becomes cations or mono valent cations because the ionic charge of this cation is one positive charge so it lose one electron and becomes monovalent monovalent for example when sodium lose one electrons it forms sodium cations and when potassium lose one electrons it forms potassium cations i hope you have no problem to understand all these things if you have read the book and you have remembered all these things if you don't remember if you have not remembered all these things please try to remember and try to understand and after remembering all the things i am sure you face no difficulties to understand all these things this is nothing my dear halogens halogens when it gain one electron it forms monovalent anion as for example fluorine belongs to halogen groups when one electron gained by it <coughs> it, it forms fluorine ion and as fluorine gain when one electron it forms fluorine anion and they are the elements belongs to the group 7a one thing group 8a elements don't have tendency to lose or gain electrons okay so i have written here so please try to understands these things thus we can say that the repetition takes place due to the valency valence cell electrons and the valence cell configuration after certain regular interval <coughs> and it is it can be remembered as sodium and lithium 11 3 8 and by subtracting their atomic number as i have done here let remember it and the descriptions of groups are here given so that you can remember all these things total number of group are 18 the vertical columns of periodic table are called groups and the group 18 is called as zero group or the elements belongs to this group is called as normal gases group 1 to 13 to 17 are called as representative groups and the elements of this groups are called as representative elements or normal elements and the elements of group 2 are called as alkaline earth metal <coughs> group 7 elements are called as halogens and group 13 to 12 elements are called as transition elements you have to remember these things after that you have to know about the lanthanides groups and actinides groups that are given at the bottom of the periodic table in two rows first rows are started from lanthanide after the lanthanide 
and the second group uh, started from actinums. They are called as lanthanides and actinides. And fatids <coughs> 1a and 2a. 1a belongs to the group 1a and 2a and group 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 belongs to 3a, 4a, 5a, 6a, 7a and 8a. But the group of transition elements belongs to 3b, 4b, 1b, 2b, etc. So these are the things I have explained once again. Now I am sure you have understood all the things. In the next video I will I shall come again with the features of modern periodic table and the descriptions of periods. Till that I want to say goodbye. Thank you. See you.